Goodbye, most beautiful room. Checkout's at 12 o'clock and it's 20 to 12, so we really maxed out our time here. Unfortunately, it's time to go. And of course, just like always, they put us at the very top of the hotel, as far away from Bumblebee as they possibly could. Bumblebee is alive. Is Bumblebee happy? Can you believe it? There's still some oil dripping. There's still oil dripping from the yeah. suspension. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Our suspension is going to be even softer today than before. <sighs> Jesus. Come on, Bumblebee. Make it to our matty, please. Okay. Okay. Hey, easy starting. Taking it easy. Okay. Ready to start the day. Ala ala kol. Ala kol. Ala kol. Yes, yes. Zavut kaka. Ya zat minya. Zavut kaka. Oh, lovey. I, I, lovey. Uh, Oli. 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 Lovey. Wow. Lovey. Yes. Lovey. Yes. Lazard. 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 <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Yes. Oh, look at this place here. Oh wow, this is like the main cool. square of the town. Good morning world, welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the town of Ayagoz in Kazakhstan and we stayed last night in Hotel Khan in town and it's absolutely crazy because we were just eating dinner at a restaurant last night in town. Yes, now we're talking. Oh. We thought we would treat ourselves after a crazy, horrible day on the road yesterday. <laughs> and then we started chatting to this couple from Almaty. And the guy, Galimjan, at the end when he was going to leave, he just said to us, guys, I'm going to pay for your hotel tonight in town. If you go to Hotel Khan, just give them your name and you guys are going to have a free night at the hotel. We were just blown away. I mean, that generosity, that is absolutely unbelievable. It's just incredibly nice because I don't know if you have noticed normally we always go for the cheapest cheapest room in town it's not very often that we get a hotel room with two different rooms to be in a bedroom and like a whole living room it was like a whole apartment for us yeah it was so nice it was so nice so today we are praying for a better day than yesterday because yesterday was one of the hardest rides we have ever done <laughs> okay i gotta slow down again i almost just want to jump off and walk oh. Oh my god, please Bumblebee survive. Not only was the road absolutely terrible, but our rear shock, all the oil's gone out, all the gas has gone out, and we're just bouncing around on our spring. And then add that to a fractured rib that I got in Mongolia. <sighs> We fell over. And basically you have the ingredients for a very horrible day. <laughs> Google estimated it would take us five hours yesterday to reach this town. And in the end, we were on the bike over nine hours. I think our average speed for the day was something like 15 to 20 miles an hour. Yeah. So we're hoping for a better road today. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we now have our shiny new map of Kazakhstan and it is massive. And we are here. And today we're going to be taking this road south towards Lake Alakol and then continuing on this road towards the city of Almaty. Since we arrived in Kazakhstan, every person we spoke to is like, you have to visit Lake Alakol. Alakol, Alakol. Alakol. yes, yes, yes. So that is where we're going to try and get to today, but it's really going to be dependent on the road conditions. Google is estimating five hours to get there, but it is a little bit of a detour on our way to Almaty. And if the road is really bad, we might just give up that detour and just continue on to Almaty. Yes, because in Almaty, the plan is to fix up Bumblebee completely to get a new shock. 
to get a new service done that we will be able to do detours like this in the future you know because of course this is uh, what's traveling all about to visit amazing places but at the moment i'm just go 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 let's go to almaty let's get it done that yeah. we can then enjoy it because i really don't want bumblebee to break down between here and almaty almaty is the biggest city in kazakhstan so that's where we're going to be trying to get kind of everything done we're still in the process of organizing a shock with motorcycle world back in my hometown northampton the dealership which actually gave us our beautiful bumblebee in the first place well these guys are sending a new shock out to us thank you so much guys we just got to get there basically we've just got to get there in one piece exactly it's already here 12 15 so better hit the road let's go oh my god the road already <laughs> gets quite pumpy oh yeah great start to the day first of all we've basically lost the tarmac second of all we have a lot of trucks on this road yeah come on road you know what at least i had a really really nice rest in this amazing air-conditioned room so i feel that we can tackle another bad road today i feel like that now but mm -hmm. let's see in five hours hey I think I remember that one of the guys yesterday said the first 150 k's are bad and then it gets better. Go through this and you will reach the promised land. Please get better. <laughs> ah, look, Tama. Hey! Hey! So that was the end of that nice road. Woo! Yep, this is going to be some kind of day. Yep. <sighs> oh my lord. Oh my god. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? <laughs> I just can't believe that this is the main road here. Look at it. Really worst road condition I think we have seen so far. I mean, look what people have to deal with. Trucks, cars, motorbikes. Look at it. Our suspension is just bouncing around <laughs> like madness. Absolutely madness here. Yeah, we didn't make really good progress in our first hour. We did. <laughs> Uh, 25 miles in our first hour. It's not too great, hey? It's not too great. I just feel sorry for all the people who have to take this road here all the time, you know? Like I said, it is the main road. It is the only road connecting Almaty with Semi. Well, I'm just praying that a little bit further down the line, the road is finished. Oh, man. Please. All the rest of the way to Almaty. Please. <laughs> please. Yes. Oh my God. Another good section. Let's do it. No. no. Yay. Yay. Oh my God, it's going to be like this the whole day. Oh, oh. no, he has a flat. Yeah, poor guy. <sighs> the second truck we see with a flat tire. <sighs> yeah, I bet the Kazakhstan people are just waiting for this new road to be finished all the way i tell you i'm waiting for this new road <laughs> <laughs> you break time oh. <laughs> wow this petrol station is so busy because it's like the only petrol station and it's filled with cars we pushed ourselves to get here to this point to have a break because we knew we'd be able to get some snacks get a nice drink but it's taken us two hours and 15 minutes to do 60 miles so yeah. it's so slow going slow i'm going. so uh, amazed by this road really i'm just amazed i'm I... amazed by this croissant <laughs> it's a chocolate croissant i'm hungry mm. too so i will eat now oh it's not a real guy it's not a real guy and not a real fish <laughs> <laughs> that's funny okay i don't want to jinx it now but the road has been absolutely perfect for a little while now and we are going 50 miles an hour that's like the record for the day i mean at this point i can hardly 
feel that our suspension is broken i mean look at this road it's pristine this road it must have been built like literally this year or last year we have made more in the last 10 minutes than we made in the whole hour before we got to the petrol station i tell you yeah pretty awesome i'm really happy yeah flying along i just hope that it keeps like this for a little bit i'm praying fingers crossed one minute 37 seconds later oh no the dream is over the dream is over a little bit too fast well it's always like that on the good sections you go faster so that's over quicker and yes. then the slow bits seem to go on forever because you're know. going slower yeah exactly i think that was our longest good stretch so far for the day i think we did about 20 miles in yeah. about 20 minutes it was wow. absolutely flying was, along baby yeah it was great oh yeah i thought we were finished for the day i was like nah it's gonna be good all the way from here <laughs> yeah me too i was like good until i'm out here <laughs> <laughs> i'm out here here we come <laughs> yeah it's really surprisingly empty here in kazakhstan people told us that there's nothing going on in the north of kazakhstan and you know what there's even less than nothing going on uh -huh. in the north apart from an incredibly bad road to focus on there is really nothing here yeah absolutely nothing but the old horse and they're cute yeah they're nice yeah it's another good section of road and whilst we're on a good section of road i'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about country number 26 on our journey around the world kazakhstan kazakhstan is massive it is the largest landlocked country in the world and it's actually the ninth largest country in the world by area and it's funny because there's only 19 million people here and that makes it less than six people per square kilometer so it's one of the least densely populated countries in the world the territory which is now kazakhstan has been inhabited and occupied by many many different nomadic peoples over the years including as part of the Turkic Empire and most famously part of the Mongol Empire but after the breakdown of the Golden Horde in the 15th century this became the Kazakh Khanate then later it became part of the Russian Empire in the 18th century and then part of the Soviet Union up until 1991 so modern Kazakhstan dominates Central Asia economically and politically it actually provides 60% of the GDP of all Central Asia but most of that is from oil and gas and it's really interesting with the name Kazakhstan because the word Kazakh actually comes from the ancient Turkic meaning to wander and it's actually the same root where the Russian Cossacks come from so Cossacks Kazakhs they both mean wander so Kazakhstan literally means the land of the wanderers another really interesting thing is that when I was reading about Kazakhstan it was saying that the Kazakhstan bandy team is apparently one of the best in the world and I was like oh that's cool and then I was like what is bandy apparently bandy is basically like a different version of ice hockey that's played by like Russia and yeah Kazakhstan are one of the best bandy teams in the world I also read that Kazakhstan is really good at boxing as well so in the last Olympic Games Kazakhstan got the most amount of medals for boxing apart from Russia and Cuba so pretty good boxers as well yeah don't mess around with the Kazakh hey I can't believe that the road remained good enough for me to tell you guys about Kazakhstan I'm really happy <laughs> <laughs> oh. thumbs up actually I've got a feeling that it might be good all the way to Almaty Look how many crickets there are here on the side of the road. I don't know if I can see it on camera. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so we've reached the junction now where the Lake Alakol is this way and our final destination, Almaty, is this way. And we just routed it and it's actually 42 miles in the wrong direction to go to this lake. But look at this, guys. Let me just point out something to you. Look at that. That's a rock, hey? That is a rock. 
there's a big one over there as well it looks like this road is under construction but not far enough under construction 42 miles that way and then 42 miles back is just a detour that we can't take at the moment so we've decided we're going to have to skip Lake Alakol. If we head one hour towards Almaty today, we might even be able to get there tomorrow, which is a really inviting prospect. Because there we've got a long break waiting, we've got bumblebees fix waiting, yeah. and yeah, we just need to get there. I mean, it would have been nice to see the lake, but in my mind I was like, if it's just 10 miles, okay, maybe I can push through it but knowing it's 40 miles if the road is really bad we could be on this road for another two hours we uh, had a hard enough time already over the last two days hey yeah I think I would cry yeah. I think I would cry <laughs> no I've been suffering so much for the last two days yeah it's like there's a limit so anyway we are now going to be heading in this direction the direction of Almaty we're going to ride an hour more yeah. and then we'll look for a place to stay and then yeah maybe we get there tomorrow yes mm -hmm. let's do it i think we made the right decision to continue look at this road it is absolutely pristine oh and it just feels amazing to be flying along it's just amazing and we've hit some mountains Woo! oh jesus christ that was close oh my God. Hey guys, Editing Ollie here. Whilst we're cruising our way towards Almaty on this unbelievably smooth road, I wanted to tell you guys about this video's sponsor, On Vacation Doctor, and their super handy app for people traveling the world like us. The On Vacation Doctor app connects you to top English-speaking doctors in any country in the entire world, including Kazakhstan. Just put in your location, and this app provides you with the name, location, and phone number of the closest English-speaking doctor to you. It also provides local ambulance, fire and police numbers, as well as the local US Embassy address and phone number. This app is totally free for the first six months, so why not give it a try on your next travel? You never know when, like we did a few days ago, you might need a local doctor who you can actually communicate with. Download the app for free today by clicking the link in the description below. Now back to the video. Alright, it is 7 o'clock. So it's time for us to try and find a place to stay for the night. So we've just turned off for the main road because there's a, a, a little town, village down this road, a couple of miles down here. Yeah, I have really bad signal here in Kazakhstan. It's really hard to uh, search on Google Maps if there are any hotels. This place now was on Maps Me actually. So it might exist, it might not. Exactly. <laughs> we will find out. We'll find out in a minute. Welcome to Koylik. <laughs> Welcome to Koilik. There's a huge herd of cows coming down the road, a bit of a cattle drive going on. I'm just going to see if I can get around these guys. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll be like a little bit of a slalom um, ride here. Yeah, do you think I should just kind of go between them? Oh, where this car just came from, I should go there. Don't hit them. No, no, I'm going to try not to. Nice, look at that, hey? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they seem pretty chilled. <laughs> cow slalom. Nice. <laughs> okay, so this place, hey? Yeah. I mean, it looks like they might have some rooms. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah. I don't know, it looks like something. It's a little bit close though, hey? Mm, possibly. Yeah. Yep, okay. Let's check it out. Okay, so the place is a hotel and it does have rooms. And this is Janat. Janat. <laughs> Janat. Altai Cafe. Altai Cafe. Oh, spasiva, spasiva. Our lifesaver. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm really glad they had a room. All right, we're going to unpack the bike. Stinky boots. After this trip, we have to burn them for sure. But anyway, we made it. Happy to life. Yes. Woo! And look at this nice little room we have here. Both got a nice little bed for ourselves. I'm so impressed because although it's really basic, it's super super clean and I feel really comfortable here actually. Plus it only cost like 
5,000 tenge, which is like 10 pounds. Less than 10 pounds. Less than 10 pounds. Wow. So we are now only five hours ride away from Almaty. So there's a really good chance that if the road condition stays like this, that we're gonna get there tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. <sighs> Me too. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time.